RPG Horror Stories thread. Horny GMs have ruined my enjoyment of tabletop role-playing games. How many you, are there? You know it's going to be a good one, boys. <laughs> yeah, you know what you're in for. Playing Star Wars role-playing game. That guy betrayed the party and we killed his character. So he made a new one. Prostitute, oh, sex God. slave, cannibal. Prostitute, sex slave, <laughs> cannibal. As in, people paid her to eat parts of them. We ditched that character as soon as we got off world. Yeah, you'd be getting sent out the air lock, mate. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Running a game for three randos. Setting is a spooky monastery. Game starts with a thief guy picking a fight with a werewolf at level fucking one. Nice. Gets his shit slapped. Mystic chick shows up and fends off the beast. She heals him. They sort of hate each other and are total shits to one another anyway. Somehow the party decides furniture in a storeroom is evil. And they start bashing the fuck out of it. What? James... All right, look, Don't even <laughs> act like that's not something we wouldn't do. Alright, well. okay. Look, no, last time we did that, it was to fill in a pit trap. We just lifted all the furniture and just filled in the trap <laughs> and just walked over. I know. <laughs> we had a reason, we had a purpose, okay? Party keeps drinking alcohol and wine and demanding it be treated as healing potions. So, what the fuck? Do you feel better? Eventually, let them meet up with a couple of NPCs. They sit down and talk. Thief eats some soup, but the mystic doesn't. They leave. Mystic tells Thief that the soup was poisoned. It wasn't poisoned, but mystic bitches and insists that the two old kind folk are actually evil, and they totally put poison in the soup. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure, why not? Fuck it, whatever. Thief is poisoned. He bitches and demands a heal. Mystic somehow cures his poison, despite not knowing how to do that. They go into a botany lab and find the last party member. A priestly man. Priest cuts me off. It's Bishop actually. <laughs> Bishop joins the others and they pick a fight with the plants. The mystic knows the plants are evil. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's evil. Everything's poisoned. Like, we got them, right? God damn it. Not this shit again. Improv a fight and they beat the shit out of it and set the thing on fire. Bishop insists this is the work of immigrants. <laughs> I'm blaming it on them. <laughs> <laughs> More wine and booze, drinking for health. Party goes through the monastery, just shitting on absolutely everything that moves, claiming things are evil and haunted. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go. Suddenly, zombie goes phantoms using guns. <laughs> yes. For damage, I just throw a bucket of dice. Literally shrug off bullets by drinking alcohol. Keep going. Somehow, a chandelier gets knocked down. Somehow, the mystic is able to pry a giant's arm out from under the pile. Somehow it was there despite not being there. And it's a holy relic, by the way. I ran three more games after this. Why? Hi. Hi. Be honest with you, like, I enjoy a twin. I enjoy a twin like sometimes. No, but this is a. No, it's it's not like the DMs even fucking playing it. It's just the players deciding how it goes. Yeah. (laughs) He's like. Oh, okay. (laughs) Yeah, sure. Um, Why not? I guess. Um, Yeah, okay. Let's do that. (laughs) <laughs> Did you grow a backbone after this session? Or are the players still walking all over you to this day? <laughs> a poor DM. Poor DM. DM. DM introduces us to his homebrew campaign world for the first time. All the lizards have titties. <laughs> <laughs> Ni- <laughs> Nightly order of trench coat and fedora clad atheist paladins. Kingdom is ruled by a gorgon and some Roman emperor knockoff. <laughs> <laughs> also get me in the video <laughs> there you go but this is a good segue to let you guys know that we have lizard titties too it's out go check it up on the website it's out go get she, them she go got, get the titties she got big fat old titties big old titties be me perfect and better than you okay be players bunch of lumpy losers not good enough but settle for us since I'm better have that guy a fucking frog a frog poster. <laughs> no, the horror. No. no. Spend endless hours setting him up to fail in every single situation. Cuck his stats. Cheat his rolls. Crit him without remorse. Talk to his girlfriend behind his back. <laughs> <laughs> Teach the other players rumours. One time I even dressed up as this fucking frog loser <laughs> and drank while grabbing women and screaming racist shit. <laughs> Yet, every fucking single time... This fucking frog sticks around and makes the grip laugh. The asshole cucks me and starts dating my sister. 
He tricks my mother into cooking the other loser's dinner. Tendies every time. My fucking whore mother loves it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make him leave, no matter how many endless hours I dedicate to bullying his fucking frog. Fuck frog posters. Fuck them all to death. A true story and genuine nightmare I live in my life. <laughs> Curse be the frog poster. Based frog poster and on. Cucking chads and getting Stacy pussy by sheer dedication and a good sense of humour. <laughs> Just so you know, this mutation table is kind of fucky. Rolls. So your character grows a flip through some pages while mumbling to himself. Okay. Rolls again. What the? Literally falls to the floor consumed by hideous laughter. A minute passes and the GM finally catches semi-stable breath. So your character... Bursts out cackling again. A short pause. So your character grows, has another fit of laughter. So your character grows a laughter again. Me. Yes. So your character grows an additional penis on their left hand. (laughs) Collapses into laughter again. Me. What? (laughs) That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hey guys, this is just a quick bit of promo. We got our website up and running and we have a massive restock on most of the models. However, one of the cool things about the website is if there's a model that you're waiting on, you can enter your email and be put on a waiting list. And it's not just good for you so then you'll know when they're restocked. We can also see what you guys are waiting on and what we should be printing. (laughs) So either way, the models are by far the best way to support this channel and to help us do videos that YouTube would find inappropriate on the platform. (laughs) And, like, let's be serious, the models are pretty based looking, so, once again, just look at the titties. Look at the lizard titties! <laughs> but anyway, let's continue on with the video. Five to six years ago, relatively new to tabletop role-playing games, with my first game being D&D 4th Edition, I moved on to Pathfinder, but I'm the DM for my group of online friends. One of my friends, a black weeaboo, brings in another of his friends into the group. Black weeaboo friend is pretty cool guy is also black and a bigger weeaboo. That does nothing but talk about edgy shit. Neuroto. And some dumb show where the MC has to keep killing people to keep living. Also an unironic edgelord that says dumb shit like Fight me IRL. I can make a tree shake just by punching it. I have legally died before. (laughs) Oh no, not one of those. (laughs) I'll call him Megafag. Because he was a bigger fag than the literal fag in the group. (laughs) Oh. Oh, there you go. Whatever. Playing with the same five people online is getting steel. Running a sort of joke campaign where I generally let the players do whatever they want and make their own classes and races, as long as I approve it. Megafag wants to make his own class based on Fire Emblem or something called a Myrdom. Myrdom? Myrdom. Myrdom. At 8th level, basically gets a natural crit range of 11 to 20 with pretty much any weapon and gets ridiculous crit modifier times eight or something. Just reading this shit makes me feel like I'm losing more IQ points for my room temp IQ. (laughs) (laughs) Say no, but offer suggestions that would make me approve this abomination. Megafag has a temper tantrum. A few days later, Black Weeaboo sits me down about how Megafag is having a temper tantrum. Cringe. (laughs) Make a compromise where Megafag has to complete certain trials to get his super ultra crit abilities. And if he dies, he dies. We eventually get to playing the game. The only relevant people in this story are me, DMP seeing a cleric because no one wants to be a healer. (laughs) Why does that always happen? Yeah, that's pretty common. Megafag, Black Weeaboo and Doc. Everything goes well, able to get through a few sessions. Then one day Megafag asks to run a session. Being the retard newbie that I am, I allow it. Little did I know this is where things would only get worse. Give strict guidelines saying what is and isn't allowed. One of them being no Lovecraftian horrors or ancient evils. Going through an enemy camp, everything's going well. Managed to make our way to the commander, who has a hostage. Hostage is chained to the commander with a weird chain thing. And we're supposed to beat the boss in time before being strangled by chains. And hitting the balls... The balls? The balls? Hitting the balls! (laughs) Hitting the boss also makes strangling happen faster. What is it about chains and being hyper-edge? Yeah. Why are chains so edgy? Yeah, I always think of the chain from Lord of the Rings that they had round Gollum. Oh, no, that was Goop, so it was, wasn't it? No, it was a chain. It was an elven chain. No, it was no, it was elven Goop. They got it from Gladwell. Yeah, it was a chain. No, it was Goop. No, it was a chain. Let us know in the comments down below. I'm pretty positive it's elven I'm Goop. I'm nearly sure it was a chain. It was no. like, it, it was, uh, no, that's why I was so 
The ring is on a chain. No, but yeah, but it looked like a necklace chain. That's why it was so thin, but it held such incredible strength. Right, I'm telling you, I'm right. But look, we'll let the comments decide. I'm really sure it was a We'll let the comments decide. Let's just keep going. Doc got some magic chains from a few sessions ago that can appear anywhere within a 30 foot radius. Uses them fucking immediately to disable the commander. Mega fag. Doc, can you undo what you did so we can have an awesome boss battle? I have to step in and say, no undoing it. My campaign and Megafag was there when Doc first got and showed off the chains. Megafag grumbles as we behead the commander and free the hostage. We move on and the base has a fucking elder god in it. I have to step in once again and nope the elder god out of existence of the campaign. Never let him DM another session of my campaign ever yeah, again. Yeah, just yes. no, no, just don't, no. Weeks pass and nothing of note happens. One day... Megafag asks if his friend can join. I allow it, mainly because my PC was kidnapped in the story. Megafag asks me to make a healer class, audibly confused. Just have him look over the cleric class or something. No, he wants to just gain spells and abilities as he levels up. Even more confused. Class abilities and spells are the cleric section of the class section of the rulebook. No, he just wants to be able to heal and do things without needing to look up what to do every time he levels up. What? What? So he just... You're going to have to look... Uh, you're going to have to look... Never up mind. Like, like, that's not even plan. Being the retard that I am, I relent and make the most generic healer cleric. The guy never ends up joining. Weeks pass and the entire campaign somehow had a happy ending. Now Megafag wants to run his own campaign and asks me to join. Being the retard that <laughs> I am... Sure! What could possibly go wrong? You know what I like. I think this fella, like, we see he admits it. It's like, yeah, like, 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 I, w- like I know. <laughs> this was, these were all really bad decisions. I get it, guys. He knows. I get it. Only players from my main group are Doc and I. Evil campaign. Well, like, we don't do weep words, right, boys? I'm sorry. Akatsuki? Akatsuki? Ak- from Naruto. Except no one knows what the fuck we're doing. Megafag asked me to co-DM because his lazy ass. At this point, I finally caught on to Megafag ineptitude, but I didn't know the full scope. I agree, because I want to have a fun time. Go on an adventure where we need to find something. First encounter. A few wizards. Anon, you handle this. Megafag just wanted me to handle the game, while he writes out some par fantasy story. <laughs> oh no! Oh, god. oh my god! Oh. Fine, whatever. Ask for encounter details, because I hadn't designed the encounter or session. Just a few level 1 wizards and have them throw fireballs. I don't have the spell list memorised and I just want to keep the game going. So I hurriedly go to the fireball spell without even checking level requirements. I also had to stat them on spot, which I did with some online randomizer. Three wizards shoot fireballs to our level 1 faces and we all die because we're bunched up in a small space and fireballs have AOE. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I... Megafag asks, what the fuck just happened? And I point to the fireball spell. No! I meant to just give them projectiles that do 1d4 damage or something. Why didn't you fucking say that to me? Absolutely. Look, wh- why do you not just say, look, just give them firebolt? Yeah. Just give them firebolt. It's 1d10. You're sweet. There you go. This megafag just wanted me to have them use magic missile. Yes, basically. Oh, yeah, there we go. I undo everything so we can have an awesome encounter. Later that day, I found out that Megafag had only ever read 17 pages of the rulebook, and it was the combat section. <laughs> how, how is this even? How is this even like questionable at this point? Oh, like God. you know, like I'm not. I'm gonna be straight up. I'm not great with the rules. No. Like you know, I'm not like Neither no. I'm no rules lawyer. I'm no whatever. But you know what I mean? Like come on here, guys. You get the gist. Yeah. You know. Even worse, because Megafag is playing a necromancer uh, without even knowing that necromancers are already a thing in Pathfinder. Yeah. Oh, I can't even. No, this is just too much for me. I know. Let's just finish this one off. Weeks passed, and it's the most god awful campaign. Everyone's dying because Megafag's shitty encounter design, which I have to salvage. Of course, Megafag's character never dies because this campaign is his power fantasy. I'm at the point of openly mocking Megafag. Well, he bears with it because he needs someone to DM his games. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, also, it's even more so because you're going ahead with it. Though. I know. <laughs> it's, you, you're, you got nothing on that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Doc and I are colluding to break this campaign because this is the most fun we can get from this trash fire. <laughs> good on you. Good on you. I'm happy for you. Each character Doc and I make get more and more ridiculous. 
And of course, Megafag approves of their creation because he doesn't even think about how what we're doing could possibly go wrong. The tipping point was Doc making a Dragon King character that could fly. For some reason, Megafag just couldn't think of a way to hit a flying co- target. Why? What? How's that? What does he mean he can't think of a way to hit a hit flying it? target? Doc, if you keep doing this flying shit, I'm going to make enemies that do 10 times damage to dragons because they'll want your skin. Argument ensues between Megafag and Doc. Doc leaves the campaign, and I go with him since I'm just tired of this bullshit. Later find out that the campaign failed because he can't run a campaign for shit. Find out a few years later that Megafag tried to cuck Black Weeaboo, who was his friend, and he failed at that. What? Moral of the story, I'm a fucking retard. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm happy for you. I'm happy that you, like, you know... You Why boys... did it take you so long? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, the guy just kind of seems a bit weird. Like, you know, to start off with, he kind of just feels yeah. a bit out there. But, like, it just gets worse and worse. Yeah. Like, you know, I don't know. What do you guys do with that? How do you salvage that sort of thing? At least you got the fuck out. I'm happy. So, look, boys, I think we're going to end it there so well. What do you guys... Have you guys ever had anything like this? I don't know. I kind of feel like, you know... I've never really had... Like, okay, yeah, I've had, like... I've been in games that I would say are a bit, like, low par or a bit shit, but I've never had some downright... The games Hor- that I just want to go, no, I'm not going. Uh, like, <laughs> I don't want to do it. I, I might moments, you yeah, know what I mean? I've, I've never, never had, had that. It. Like, you know, um, I've been in some groups where I've been like, mm, mm. I, nah, I don't, nah, I think I'll just, I'm, I'm busy next week, guys. See you about, <laughs> you know what I mean? Type of thing. What, have you guys ever had anything like this? Let us yeah, know. Yeah, let us know down below. And go and check out the website. Check, check out, out models, all the models. Check out Lizard, Lizard, Titty, Lizard Titty, Titties, titties tea, tea, boys. Lizard is Titties out. Tea. And go and hit the subscribe button. And don't you dare say it, James. <laughs> go hit the subscribe button. You hit sure? the notification bell. And we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> A chin. Oh, All right, guys. See you later. Enjoy. Bye.